Hi, I'm Holly Silva, and I've been a crafts expert for about 15 years now. Today I'm going to show you how to make a shoebox house craft. Now here I have a very large shoebox. You can use any size we have around the house. Now what I have here is some pipe cleaner, uh, some wire pipe cleaner that happened to be the same color as the box, which is really cool because I'm going for like a real uh, Spanish, Spanish theme. Um, almost like a little little home in the barrio, which is, you know, really cool. Some people may think that it's, you know, like, oh, making a home in the barrio, but there's a lot of love and a lot of um, really cool culture in the, in the barrio. So, so here's that. And what I did here, I, I made these, of course, before I showed you, but all I did here was I stuck some double stick tape. I used three long pieces of double stick tape uh, at, at each side and in the center. And you're just going to press down on these wires and bend over just a little bit of the side to create a little shingle effect. Now what you're going to do is grab a black marker and you're going to draw doorways and windows wherever you'd like. Let's stick a door right here. How's that? We'll draw a little door here. This is the side door, or we can make it the front, whatever you'd like. And we'll stick, we'll put another little window here. And how about another window here? It's a nice long house. Okay. And what you can do is you can stick some, uh, you can grab some green yarn here and cut it into a bunch of little pieces and use your double stick tape again let's see for the sake of time we'll just do a couple we'll grab some double stick tape here and put it up here or maybe we'll do this we'll make like a little planter how's that we'll put a little planter between the two and we'll just stick some green yarn through here it looks like some plants. Got a little bit of foliage. Maybe even some cactuses if it's in if it's in New Mexico or any place like that. And there you have it. Now, for the rest of the home, you're going to want to draw windows and doors all over the place. This happens to be the type of box where the lid folds over. So what I did was I cut I cut the lid off. I have it double stick tape here. I cut the lid off so you can remove and set wherever you'd like. Now, uh, now you can use it in any direction that you want, and especially if it's especially if it comes off the top. If it's like a regular a regular box, you can do that as well. This is something that you can take a lot of time with it, so it'll keep the kids occupied for a while. Anyway, have a great time, and we'll see you next time.